from a terrible tragedy 55 years ago to an incredible find, our next guest calls her own personal Christmas miracle. Joyce Wharton lost her parents, sadly, when their small plane crashed in Washington State back in 1959, year I was born. And just this week, she received a phone call. A logger had found a precious piece from her past, her mother's wedding ring. And she's wearing it here today. Joyce Wharton and Nick Buchanan, the man who found her mom's ring, join us now. Hey, Nick, good morning. Good morning there. How did you find this ring and how did you decide to spend so much time and so long in restoring it to the family? Well, I'd heard about the plane crash and uh, it was just, uh, I'm an avid hiker and a treasure seeker, so to speak. And I had uh, made numerous trips to the plane and uh, I was just looking for whatever treasures I might find there and lo and behold uh, one of my trips I found that ring and uh, it took me a long time to ever get it to where it belongs but I'm very happy that it, the and, right person has it now and, and so Nick you went on ancestry.com and you tracked down Joyce Wharton who's sitting me with me here the, this morning um, good morning Joyce good morning what do you want to say to Nick Buchanan Right now, in terms of restoring this beautiful ring, your mother's heirloom to you. Love you, Nick. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was uh, the most wonderful gift I think I I could have ever received, and I think it's a miracle. First of all, that my parents were ever located, and second, that you found the ring and were the kind of person who persevered and returned it to me. It means so much. When did you last see the ring, Joyce? The last time I saw this ring, um, I saw it on my mother's finger in 1959. They lived in San Antonio, and this was before they took off for Washington State to visit her brothers. A terrible, terrible tragedy. Hey, Nick, how long did it take for you to track down Joyce and her family and restore this ring? Well, I found the ring in 97, and... Uh, of course, technology had not evolved to where it is today, and so I spent going on to 20 years before I could ever get up with this, you know, and uh, uh, actually a nephew and a friend of his who had done a lot of research on Ancestry.com, and that's how we finally located Joyce and her family. Joyce, do you believe in fate? Do you believe that certain things are kind of preordained to happen? What rushes through your mind when you look at this ring and then you also think about the humanity of a man that you never met that you may never meet that had the presence of mind to say I want to restore this to the person who would really enjoy it and really understand the love that that it means I don't believe in fate but I'll tell you something I do believe in God's will and our prayer was that we would find my parents remains and that was answered and my other prayer was that if possible that this ring that meant so much my to my mother would be found, and I just believe it is an answer to prayer. Yeah. And I think Nick's an answer to prayer, too. <laughs> Nick, uh, in our last 30 seconds, Nick, what do you want to say? Well, I'm just very happy to have gotten it to you, Joyce. That's where it's been, it's been a long, long time wish of mine to find the family, and most of all, my greatest wish was to find the family you did it. that they had a daughter to turn this over to. Answered prayers, Joyce Wharton and Nick Buchanan. Thanks for both being here. A great American Thank story. You.